Hi, um, we're just going to do a little review of the latest book that's been published about Dungarvan history. It's uh, on medieval Dungarvan and it's written by archaeologist Dave Pollock, the gentleman who did much of the archaeological digs around Dungarvan over the past 20 years. Um, firstly, it's a very nice book. It's very well produced. It's 44 pages in size. Uh, the book is also illustrated by Dave himself. Uh, it's arranged in chronological order, so it starts off before the town. Then it proceeds on to the Viking settlement out at Shandon. Then it deals with the early development of the castle. Here's a, an image of Gallows Hill as it was in its heyday, which was one of the earliest uh, Norman settlements in the area. The core of the book is about Dungarvan Castle, around which the town grew. And from Dave's illustrations, it's easily seen the stages of the construction of the castle and how it developed over the years and how from time to time it actually fell into wreck and ruin during various sieges and how it was altered to cope with those sieges. There's an image of the IRA after they captured the castle at the close of the War of Independence in 1921. Various other buildings are also dealt with within the book, uh, including the church uh, in Dungarvan, St Mary's Protestant Church now, and the Augustinian Abbey over on Abbey Side. Dave also covers a variety of old buildings around Dungarvan town, such as the Old Market House, Garvin's Church, Barry's Store, Maloney's Store, and there's also some drawings of uh, medieval wooden buildings, uh, what the people of Dungarvan would have lived in at the time. Uh, the end of the book covers in some detail the town walls of Dungarvan, where they were and where they were expanded to. And there's some nice photographs and technical drawings of the archaeological surveys that were done by Dave and other archaeologists. Um, I'd recommend this book to anyone with an interest in Dungarvan history. I think it's suitable for a wide range of people from local historians to school children and teachers.